everyone. I'm Andrea, one of the children's librarians at the Cheshire Public Library. And now that it's spring, when you go outside, you probably see lots of flowers blooming. In this video, we'll make some flowers that bloom inside. There are just a few things you'll need to get started. You will need some plain paper. You'll need some tools that you can draw and color with. I have some markers and pencils, but whatever you have will work. You'll need some scissors, and finally, you will need a bowl of water. So, let's get started! First, we'll need to draw our flowers. Start by making a circle. It can be whatever size you want, and if it's closer to an oval, that's okay too. Then, draw some petals. Just remember, the petals don't need to be perfect for your flower to bloom. If you're having a hard time drawing the petals, you can even try tracing the tip of one of your fingers. Now it's time to decorate our flowers. You can use colored pencils, markers, crayons, pens. Basically, whatever you have will work. You can leave your flower plain or you can decorate it like I did with this one. You can even write a secret message on the inside of your flower. Now it's time for the hardest part of this whole thing, cutting out the flower. Use a pair of scissors to carefully cut out your flowers. It might take a little while, and again, it's okay if it isn't perfect. Now, to make our flower bloom, we have to fold in the petals. You want each petal to be folded to about the middle of the flower. To make our flower bloom, you will need your bowl of water and your folded up flower. You want to put it in the water with the folded petals facing up. So let's give it a try. Whoa! Now, is this really magic? Well, maybe, but there's some science there too. Paper is made up of tiny fibers. And when we drop our paper flowers into the water, those fibers start absorbing the water and expanding. This happens even where we folded our flower petals in. So as those fibers start absorbing and expanding, they push our folds open and the flower blooms. Pretty cool, huh? This leaves us with a challenge. Keep making flowers, but try a few new things. Maybe make flowers out of construction paper or tissue paper. Compare, does a large flower bloom faster or slower than a small flower? You can even change where you make your designs. Maybe only color the outside of one flower on the petals and only color the inside of another flower. The possibilities are endless. We hope you'll share some of your flowers with us by commenting below. Also, be sure to follow the Cheshire Library on Facebook and YouTube for more videos. And what's that? You want to see that secret message I was talking about? Well, okay. Thanks for watching.